Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> East Jersey State Prison. Yeah, for some reason I remember looking it up. It said, you know, Eastern State Penitentiary. Remember I got the wrong one, you know. And you know, I mean, it says here. The reason why I'm still skeptical, it says, you know, it's a medium security prison. It says he, here, East Jersey State Prison. Uh, you know, and it says in Avenel Woodbridge Township on uh, you know, on YouTube if I upload it, it says Woodbridge. It doesn't say Woodbridge Township, and it's Avenel. People used to call it Roy Prison, but actually, I'm pretty sure it's just on the border. I think it's Avenel. I mean, could there be a reason why you know they put it in the highway also, but it's like yeah, they put it right on the border as well. I'm not even gonna get into that. You know, and they used to call it the Roy Prison. Everybody called it Roy Prison. They just you know, I think it was slang. I don't know. Uh, it was established in 1896 as Rowett, alright, there, <laughs> just that forgot the state part. Rowett State Prison was called in 1896. And was the first reformatory in New Jersey officially open, opening in 1901. Uh, it housed 1,227 inmates as of 2020. You know, so 20, uh, you know, two years ago, you know, and they had uh, over a thousand people in there, but, you know, it's like, anyway, anyway, although the prison's mailing address is in Rowett, ah, so the mailing address in Rowway. The prison is located just outside of Rowway and Avenel. See, it's it's another the mailing address. You know, you have the mailing address here, but the actual building is uh, like what? Uh, you know, uh, you know, say my, my uncle, he's like, you know, he's a mail, mailing address. I think it's you know, three bridges, but it's really in Flemington or something like that. It's just you know, it's all the zoning rights, and you could do you can manipulate and just get away with that stuff. Or just uh, you know, I mean, you have to like really explain it to somebody to a certain degree for it to get it. You know. Not, I mean, that, but also, like, uh, you could just hide, you know? And I just, you know, I, I don't care for that. It's just, you know, it's a form of manipulation on a different level. But, you know, it's, uh, it is near New Year's Highway, Route 1 and 9. But, what does that go to? The education, the education department of East Jersey State Prison offers a variety of programs. Well, that's, you know. Yeah, the GED, it, they do have courses like that, but it says here, within the walls of the prison is an independent unit, uh, the special treatment unit, which houses sexually violent predators, civilly committed, involuntary committed, well, obviously, civil committed, or involuntary hospitalization, or, or hospitalization, but, you know, it just always creeped me out, I think, when people try to set me up, you know, last time I was with this guy, you know, it was like 2013, his name was Wayne, he's from Trent, and we're driving by them, and you know, it was cloudy, it's like, you know, I picked him up from like, I think Trenton or something, we're going to a job, so then I think I'm aggravated, I wasn't feeling too well, I don't know if I was going through with Troy, it's another reason, like, him and his brother came in there, there was drugs and shit, I was like, fuck it, you know, I'm like, I'm not doing this and that, but you know, he's a creepy, not the, uh, a hood right nonetheless, he was wanting to get you intoxicated, you know, I want you to get intoxicated, get high and shit, just to fuck with you, but, you know, it's just like I told him, you know, I, just, I came and look at that, he just started snarking and laughing, like, eh. And, you know, he's he's, the, he's like the, the creep that gets arrested, he has multiple, you know, a warrant or two warrants, and he's scared to go to jail for the shit that he did. And he starts crying and for, on, a, on a cop car, sitting on a cop car, and then, you know, the cop's like, you know, oh, he's lucky he has you. I was like, is that even sarcastic? You know, he's lucky he has me. I, it just fucking, it's just a slap in the face, you know. And the guy's a suff, such a fucking joke. Such a fucking joke. I mean... Uh, the biggest uh, dirty motherfucker you ever met on the planet, but it's not so much about him. It's just that you know when you see that building, I mean, if you know in the free you didn't do anything, it is, it is kind of creepy and disgusting, you know. Could there be tall pine trees around that place? Not for us, but me for those people. You know, <laughs> actually I was there, but I didn't point out there's a flea market that they have every weekend, which I go down and even think about it. But there's an apartment building right there across from it. It's like why would you, you know, go out kind of like. Oh look, honey, Jake and Jamal are you know hanging out together. So they're getting them all, and you know, people are looking at that shit. It's just weird, you know. It's just creepy, you know. It's like you know. I think there's a reason why people say up north, like on the east coast. I don't know how many people. I've seen in the west coast they even say that it's up north because it's like upstate New York, north, or like you know even 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 farther than that, some rural area, and they have you know a, a, you know uh, places where they have these prisons, you know. Uh, in a flatland or something like that, there's nobody, there's nothing around, you know, but, you know, there's a whole history with that, and, uh, in 1985, New, New Jersey, they voted to establish the state's first reformatory, wow, state's first reformatory, 
A year later, construction began to roll away on state property known as Edgar Farm. Ah, Edgar Road is, is one north. Edgar Farm. Roy State Prison opened in. See, this is about history that whether it's painted foul is disgusting nonetheless. Some of it's good. But, you know, it, you could get so much, uh, you could understand it a little bit better. Roy State Prison opened in 1901 and originally housed first male offenders between the ages of 16 and 30. Yeah, 16 and 30. Yeah, that's pretty, uh. Edgar Farm and Edgar Road. It's right there next to, you know, the prison. Edgar Road is, you know, Route 1 and 9. North and South, you know, that's Edgar Road. Who was this guy, Edgar? It was Edgar Farm. I mean, wow. I kind of wonder what farm he had, you know, what was going on there. I mean, you know, surely has a, a lot. And Edgar Road it goes all the way north to Elizabeth. You can actually, you know, uh, go to New York from that road. You know, so who was this guy? I mean, maybe, I'm pretty sure it was a man or something, you know. It, it, it's a history with, with with that, and, you know, it just goes, uh, just goes way back. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, imagine, you know, 120 years later, and, you know, it's a certain thing is na named after a, a farm, this and that, you know, but you could go about anything to this probably in books, you know. This is why I would want, you know, some of the books about, uh, this place around, you know, living around, you know, it is fascinating. Uh, transition to adult prison. Uh, in 1967, one of the buildings was improved and made into five wing. And from 1895 to 98, trailers were erected. All buildings were renovated. Okay, it's just the renovations, riots and escapes. <laughs> prison name change. On November 30, 1988, at the request of the citizens of Rowan, New Jersey, Rowan State Prison was renamed East Jersey State Prison. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Residents claimed that being identified with the prison stigmatized the city and affected property values. However, residents in the surrounding region still refer to the building by its former name. I understand that, but you know, even after that, 88, people just called it Roy, uh, Roy, Roy Prison, you know. And it's like, I get it, you know, there's people just ridiculing, ah, you live in cell block, be ha ha ha. Ah, yeah, go fuck yourself, you know, you are. You're a fucking idiot that's, that, you know, uh, either steals or some shit, you know, you get angry for me for, like, you know, I could tie my shoes. What well, I give a fuck where, you know, uh, like down the block, uh, you know, a mile or two miles from me is a fucking prison, you idiot. You drive by that shit just to fucking save a dollar. And I don't see it every fucking day. But, oh, okay, anyway. And just people have, that's another thing, there's never mind it, it's just this cockiness, just, and like, oh, it's fucking disgusting, you know? You say your fucking house, you know, with your wife and your little, uh, walk-in closet and your fucking, uh, fake, me I mean, mentality and your facade of a fake human being. And you coke at little parties, bro. Anyhow, these are the movies that, you know, were filmed there. I didn't see these. I don't think I ever seen this. I do remember this. Lock up. In, in 1989, American Prison, actually filmed, directed by John Flynn, Sarge Sylvester Stallone, Donald Sutherland. Tom Sizemore and John Amos. Wow, it was released in the United States on August 4, 1989. That's the uh, that's the movie I was talking about about Stallone being in there, and Malcolm X <coughs> starring Denzel Washington. <coughs> yeah, I think it's the beginning. I think you know he was Malcolm X spelled time in prison. So I don't remember that too much. I haven't watched it years ago. Rounders. Matt Damon. <laughs> why, why do people do that? It's cute, but why? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, I was gonna say Ben. I mean, how could you not say Ben Affleck when you say Matt Damon? It's just, you know, it's a whole. Nah, I'm kidding. They're cool faggots. Uh, you know, that was a really good movie. At the end, you know, Matt Damon, you know, Matt Damon's character said, you know, is it like guy wish them? Oh, he's gonna play at a tournament, po poker tournament. He's a good luck. He's like, is it really about luck though? You know, it's about skill. It's about skill. And I mean, that's you know. And he would go to Atlantic City and stuff like that. It, it's a great movie. Spoiler alert, someone gets his ass fucked up. It's not me. <laughs> you know, you want it. The Hurricane. Yeah, that was a uh, that was based on a true story. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Uh, I saw that. He got, oh, he got game, of course. Like, this guy just fucking loves being in prison. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You know, he just, second time that was in Washington. That was, all right. That's right, the basketball throwing scene, I think, you know. Something like that. And, of course, everybody knows this one. Oh, no, it's over.